in autumn. The mountain's birch forest becomes a riot of color. In the glade, there is a tent made of birches, a traditional dwelling of the Owenki ethnic group called a chum. The sweet smell comes from baking Russian rye bread. Burning in the stove are bundles of birch branches. The Asian white birch is a tall arbor. The slim and straight trunk can reach 27 meters. Being a sun-loving and cold-resistant species, it has a strong adaptability to the soil, whether in the acidic soil, in the swamp, on the dry, sunny slope, or damp, shady slope. It grows with abandon. Across the Greater Kingan Range, it is very common, being one of the most typical tree species in the region. Dawa and Guo Fang, a deer keeping couple, inherited the traditional Awenki lifestyle. They herd reindeer in the birch forest during the day. Picking up mushrooms on the forest floor is a good way to pass the time. Collecting birch bark has become the norm for them. The bark of the birch can be made into a variety of daily necessities. Speaking of the master who makes the best bark handcrafts, few can surpass the Awenki artist named Zhang Xiaoli. Generations of Zhang's family have been praised as experts in making birch bark tools. The Asian white birch has extremely strong vitality. It doesn't die from peeling. The part where the bark is stripped will turn black next year. In the third year, it starts to grow a thin layer of new bark, which becomes thicker year after year, and eventually looks the same as the rest of the trunk. The moderate usage of the birch is the Awenki people's promise to nature over a millennium. Since childhood, Zhang has learned from her mother about the craftsmanship of the birch bark in 2015, she was honored by the People's Government of Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region as an inheritor of the intangible cultural heritage. She is good at turning the soft bark into delicate and practical handcrafts. In the eyes of the Awenki people, the birch forest is more than a beautiful landscape. It is indeed their source of food and clothing and is already integrated in their daily life and spiritual world. Birches love the sun. With incredible vitality, even after a forest fire, the first plant to re-emerge is usually the white birch. The tenacious white birch has a straight trunk, exhibiting its elegant posture in white. It has been carrying people's aesthetic tastes and spiritual sustenance, being highly praised by countless writers, poets, singers, and those who yearn for love. <laughs>